And now I want to talk about the, the bug I find and uh, how I can create the same effects or what I can do for this uh, working in the same way. Here I create the curve, I create the blast with zero and I create my point here. This is my point, is point zero and this point is where is start my particles. Sometimes when I create the particles here and I want this path the fall of, it's more important is the, the path, it's the same position of your emitter. In fact, you can see here, my emitter is in the same position of my path, okay? In this case here, I want take the points because so I am sure if I move it, the path in the space, also my element, my emitter points, it's moved and is not change more and is very helpful because I don't need to come here and become crazy for change all aspect here. You can work with the dot or with the point emitter here in some case. In another case, you can't because maybe you need to create the shape for your emitter. But in this case, I can work with that. So I can work with that. I can so use this layout with the curve, with the blast, with the null, and with another null. Also here, I have the sort. In the sort, I have my reverse because if I apply the reverse, here I can see my element, my emitter is come here, okay? Now also, we are right also to use that. Uh, we can cre create the copy. We can delete that, we can delete, delete, and this is my path, and this is my element here, okay? And I can call that, for example, here I can jump inside and I can disable the points because I don't want to see more points here because it's more points. Okay. And here we have our curve and I use the second okay, geometry. Also I can delete that. Now that. And here I can say here, use the first contest geometry. My first contest geometry here is the point, emitter point, okay? So I need to come here and say emit from points. In this way, also I can disable all. I can see here my particles it's born from points. Why is not, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Because I don't have any velocity, yeah, okay. I need to do velocity. And now, if I use the first contest, you see, oh, my particles is created in around from all points here, okay. It's normal, you can also assign, for example, zero, zero, and I want to assign two from this axis. So this is my part because it's created. Maybe 0 0.25, 0 0.5. Velocity is more important. And here we have my particles is created. And this is work also when, uh, with the first contest, or with the use the value. I can use the first contest now. Now, if I come here and use that, use the second inputs, and now I see it's work, okay? But maybe, yeah, now it's work. I don't, I don't understand why now it's working. Maybe because I just update 
in the last release. But uh, in the previous uh, my file I used for production, uh, I see sometimes it's not working. But you see, now it's working. In, and it's work better also. Some case you can use, uh, for example, here, use the value and here you can use the value, the SOP. Maybe because I can try to use, for example, the transform because this line is started from zero. Maybe is that the problem? Okay, I can jump here. I can see here the first contest is here, yeah, and here use the second contest. Okay, now it's work. Okay, side effects is fixed at that. If it don't work, you can use the value here from the SOP and it's change everything, okay? And it's working better for, for you. Also, you can apply here the noise. You have the different effects. You can see here inside the particles. And this is very comfortable because here you can move it, your elements around is a meter from the first point. And you can have the same concept here. And here, if you want to reverse, you can reverse. If you use this technique with the sort, you can just say reverse. Now you see here with the reverse, with the reverse also, we reverse our emission points, it's change, but I want to change also the direction of my element here. With the reverse, if I jump inside my dop, you see my arrow, it's the same direction before. With that, here, we can use, for example, we can say the follow, we can apply the negative value. If I apply, for example, minus five, I see it's here not taken because here maybe the radius it's needed to be to increase. You can just increase a little bit here. You can see here now you have maybe maybe five or four or you can three point five and also we can suction maybe 60, okay? You can see now here with the negative value for fall of scale, you have the possibility for change direction. You don't see here in the grid the change of direction, but the, it change direction here, okay? This is more important. Also with the, the negative value here in the orbit scale, for example, you can change the direction of your orbit. If I apply, for example, five, you can see here, we have this direction. If I apply, for example, minus five, we can see we have another orbit. Maybe it's more similar, but trust me, this is change direction also for your orbits. This is all. And this is all for these uh, tools. I use that more for uh, drive particles in some situation or for use that with uh, the dynamic object. It's working the same way with the multiple solver. It's very nice to use that. Also in this case, maybe I need also to apply also here a little variation. Also I can apply the gravity or the, the drag. It's a little more.
and this is very comfortable in some situation when you want to drive the particles follow the path without become crazy with another tools you can use that.